Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. It's Friday. Woot woot. <laughs> and my joints are letting me know about that. My hands are just aching. They're swollen. They just, you know, they're feeling the weather changes here in Canmore. It seems like it's going from, you know, 17 to like minus one. We got bright sunshine and heat to like, here's a blizzard. <laughs> and it's just on this constant rotation. So I think my, my body is feeling it, that's for sure. So uh, things are taking me a little longer this morning to get ready, but um, thanks for popping on. Good morning, France, nice to see you. Just like France, when you pop on, tell me where you're from. Say hello, chit chat amongst yourselves. I love when you do that. And when you see something you like, give, shoot out a whole bunch of hearts. That's, you know, send out that encouragement. It, it encourages me and I know it makes everybody happy. So good morning, Jennifer, way back in Manitoba. Toba. My husband is the same way. Oh, it's horrible. Hi, Karen. Hi, Linda. Good. Oh, Linda's got an afternoon already. I'm. <laughs> I'm still in the morning here, but all right, let's get rolling here because then I can rest after I've done this video. Um, of course, I pick a fun fold for our Friday. You know, can't do anything simple, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's check out some beautiful cards that people sent me here. Um, one of which, um, one of these ladies knows. So let me switch this over here. Check out this little flamingo. And she stamped the envelope. Isn't that cute? Stamped the envelope to match. I think that's adorable. I love these three little buttons here too. And this is from, oh, this is from Julie. Uh, we all know Julie on, that pops on here every once in a while. Hi, Kathy. So isn't that adorable? Love it. I like how she decorated the inside too. Just, you know, a little fancy, fancy. <laughs> and then there's this card. Thanks, Julie. That's what I want to say. And uh, Minnie from Swan River sent me this card. Isn't this a cool card? It kind of opens like this. And so it makes kind of this a, an open little area. What a great idea with those um, butterflies to do that. And she's got a little window sheet here that she's glued the um, butterflies onto. Happy spring, isn't that gorgeous? I think it's so pretty, beautiful. And she sent me such a lovely little note. I love it, I love it. So thank you so much, Minnie. Wow, I need to try this fold out now. <laughs> Another one to put on my list. <laughs> so thank you so much, ladies. Julie, I just showed your beautiful flamingo card. Thank you so much for that. Um, hi, Amy. Hugs to you. I know you're having a rough day. This is a good place to hang out if you're having rough days. We all have our days, right? And so um, you are loved here and uh, know that you're cared about, okay? All right. Let's roll on to... We're using the hot dog stamp set again. Yeah, cool a cool fold, hey? Hot dog stamp set we're gonna use with this. This card idea I got from Flower Bugs Ink Spot and one of her team members did this fold. Now I haven't tried this ahead of time. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of learn and go through this process together and hopefully this works. If not, we're all going to learn together, aren't we? So first off, I have a piece of old olive here and I, it is measuring eight and a half by five and a half. And instead of normally scoring it down the middle, I have scored it at two and one eighths and six and three eighths. And the, this me these measurements will be on my blog later on today. Um, so don't worry if you don't have a pen and you're not busy writing all this down. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna need a piece of Whisper White, kind of for our card insert, if you will. It is the normal four by five and a quarter. Then we need a piece that's gonna kind of go here. 
of designer series paper. I'm using that ice cream paper. I thought it would be kind of cute because we're gonna make a birthday card. I thought it's, you know, sprinkles. That reminds me of birthday, right? Um, reminds me of cake. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, this one's going measuring at two by five and a quarter. We're also gonna need one for this side. So I actually, ooh, that could work too. Ooh, 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 decisions, decisions. Well, we'll decide in a minute here. That's also two by five and a quarter. And then on the inside of the card, I've got two little strips here that are measuring, maybe I could use this for the inside. Yeah, we could do that. Three quarter of an inch by five and a quarter inch. So you need two little pieces of that. You can switch them up. We can, we'll, fig we'll figure it out. And then I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay. We'll pretend this is all together. This was the second largest uh, stitch nested label die. Okay, so I cut that out, but I also did two down and cut out the center of it. And I'll show you why in a moment. Hi, Lori. Okay, here we go. So I guess the first steps, okay, first steps. Should we go with the green polka dot? or blue? Help me out here. Green or blue? Oh, man. <laughs> Feels, they feel like cement. And it, when they move, they, they don't like it. So blue or green, what are you thinking should be our flavors that go together here for our birthday card? Blue, green, blue. Okay, we'll wait for the next one. Hopefully it's not green. <laughs> green. <laughs> okay, next one breaks the tie. Blue. Blue, love that together with green. Okay, blue it is. Blue it is. Thank you. <laughs> We'll use the green polka dots for the inside then. Okay, so what we're gonna do is place this. Now, it doesn't quite fit. You know, see how there's a little edge around all of here? So if you move this up a little bit, you, you don't really need an edge along this side because we're gonna be cutting it off. So bump that DSP right along the edge to make it even all around those the three sides hopefully that makes sense and I'm gonna do the same thing with the sprinkles paper here on the other side like so so I'm lining it up along the edge so that it has a nice even border all along the outside Okay, so now here comes the complicated part, apparently. Um, we're going to fold these over. I'm going to get my bone folder here. I'm actually going to use this one because I think my other one has, well, <laughs> maybe they're both dirty. No, that one feels better. Okay, let's give that a good crease. And we're going to give this one a good crease. And hopefully they fit together nicely. Yes, they do. Fabulous. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my the smaller of the stitch nested label dies and Okay, how does she do this? Okay, so she's gonna actually slip the die inside the card uh, Pointy part up now she's just said to, I guess, tape this down so exactly where we want it. So I'm going to use my little sticky note flags here. Let's just kind of get the, the points lined up there just along this edge. And okay, here we go. We're going to glue that down right there, glue that there. And just for safe measure, let's glue those bottom bits. Oh, 
like so. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, it's very weird, I know. Let's uh, attach that, make it closed as well. All right, it is stamp and cut and emboss time. Let's see how this works. Hopefully everything's still glued in there well. Fingers crossed. Putting it right into the big shot as so. We might need to <laughs> see really stamping causes muscles, I'm telling you. It keeps you fit. <laughs> now let me just have a look. Has it gone? Uh, I think we need a no, one more pass through. And I think we're going to be golden here. Okay. Yep. That's good. Let's take this down. Get this out of the way. And so now, see, we've created this little boop, boop here we can get rid of this and if it's made this bump here it's not really that big of a deal because we're going to be putting that white card or insert there okay so here we go I'm not sure which is going to be the top and which is the bottom now we're going to place this over top lining it up We'll try the other other direction, see if that makes it line up even better. It's pretty darn close. Okay, I think I'm going to use my liquid glue. I'm only going to glue it along one half, the top half. So then that way it's going to go like so, right? Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is just put some glue, liquid glue, right along the edge here. Lay this down. And I suppose I should open this up again. Just, to, yeah, because it's not quite where you need it. Okay. Yeah, 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 there. That's okay if I got a little glue in there because I'm going to be putting that other strip here. So, okay, so you've got this little purse handle by the looks of things. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> we're going to open this up. And here is where we're going to end up putting this insert. Now, I think before I glue it down, I'm going to get my pencil. Let's see. So let's close this up again and just kind of give myself some little marking points as to where I need to stamp my little puppy. Okay, so let's just make sure it's all stamped well before we actually glue it to the card and then you know how that, that works, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. I think we could put our little dog right there. Um, I think I'm just going to use Memento, well, no, let's use Soft Suede. I really liked the look of that the other day when we used an actual color that we colored with for the animal as opposed to, say, black, a big black outline. Okay, let's go like so. There's my little poochie. And I think we need... Our little dog needs a little hat, a birthday hat, because this is a birthday card, you know. And great thing about this set being photopolymer, you can have a little look uh, and see exactly where you're stamping. All right, I've got the little balloon here. I think I want to tie it to his, maybe we'll tie it to his tail. Maybe we should have a few balloons, what do you think? Um, let's actually, I'm going to use some sticky notes and mask that 
mask that, uh, oh, what do I want to say? That stem of the, the um, string of the bloom. Make it a little bit shorter. So just put on a sticky note, attach, take that off. And I think we need three, don't we? Okay, so let's do this again. We can probably get it in. I'm gonna use a new sticky note because by luck it'll just get ink everywhere. Okay, just a wee little stem on this balloon this time. Masking off what you don't want to be colored. Take that off, throw that away so your elbow doesn't get it. And let's put another little balloon right here. Voila. And then my sentiment I wanted to use was, hot dog, it's your birthday. I think I want to use that in one of the, let's use Bermuda Bay for that. So that's our kind of color on the front there. Yeah, these colors are great. I really like it. Hot dog, it's your birthday. And so this is going to be kind of partially a surprise for when you open up the card, right? All right, let's get some blending brushes. Love these. Uh, maybe Coastal Cabana would work well with this as a little bit of sky. So I'm just dabbing that in there and I'm wiping off a little bit onto my grid paper just to make sure that it's not gonna leave any big surprises. <laughs> and you know, you can might as well fill up the whole entire card, right? With color, not just necessarily in the one area. And then I know we use the old olive, so let's use old olive for a kind of the ground look. Just give this an extra wipe because I'm going to use the same one for the ground layer. Darker layers and lighter layers. That's what I love about these blending brushes. They kind of make it all whoo, fancy fancy. Okay, let's put that back. All right, let's color up our little puppy here. I'm gonna use the soft suede again. Let's leave some little um, little white spots I think would be cute. So I'm using the dark, whoo, that's very dark. Yeah, it's dark soft suede, okay. Kind of where the shadows would be. Okay. And then let's go in and use the light version just to fill in the rest of it. I gotta remember to leave some little white spots. Anyone have any big plans for the weekend? I don't know what we're doing exactly. I know we're going to the Recycle Depot. <laughs> we look after the recycling for the condo, the refundables and the recycling, if you will. It's kind of nice in Alberta that we have that option that you can take your cans and milk jugs and juice jugs and all those kinds of things back to a depot and get money back for them. That's actually how our social committee funds all their events here. 
So, not that we can have any events right now, but when we get to, it'll be nice. All right, I think that's probably good. All right, let's just give that little smile a little trace there. And I like flirty flamingo for the cheeks. And just add a little, little dot of flirty. And of course, let's give it a black nose. Do dogs have other colors of noses? I just thought about that. I don't know. Cute. And then for the balloons, let's re-look at this here. What colors do we have in our, I think, hmm. I don't know what kind of red, is that a red? No, that's probably cinnamon cider. Let me find my chart here. Here it is. Okay, so we have terracotta tile, uh, blackberry bliss. We could use the purple posy too. Okay, there, that helps us make some decisions here. So let's go with, um, there isn't terracotta tile, but people are saying that the dark Cajun craze is very similar. So I'm making you watch me color. Just leave a little doodad there. And then I said Blackberry Bliss. Let me check, dark Blackberry Bliss. Do I have a light Blackberry Bliss? Rich Razzleberry. <laughs> They're so similar. Dark rich raspberry, light blackberry bliss. Okay. Oh, got my tongue out. I'm concentrating. Okay. Oh, don't forget the little spot on the balloon. Um, they don't have honeybee. What was I saying I was going to use? Blackberry. Oh, purple posy. Purple posy. Might as well use the dark because it's quite a light color. All right. And let's see, for his little hat, let's go in with Bermuda Bay. And the light. And for that little pom pom, I think it needs a yellow. So let's use the light mango melody. This is retiring. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Yeah, there. And you know what this, I just, does it need some? <laughs> um, well, let's go with pink. I don't know. Let's go with flirty. Although, well, let's see. Just to add some woo, excitement. <laughs> okay. So now we get to attach this. I'm going to use liquid glue so that I can kind of tweak it to make sure it lines up with this perfectly. Okay. And then we can still make it move around a little bit because it's got the liquid glue. Okay, let's put this back down. See where I had those little markers? Not that it's 
really going to make that big of a deal, but I think that looks good. Okay, so there's our little card. Isn't that cute? And then you open it up. Now, I suppose if you wanted room to write, you could just, you know, to blah, 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 from blah, blah, blah. Oh, we forgot our two strips here. Hang on. Okay, so we can go with the greens here, or we can go with the blue. I think I want to, I'm going to change my mind. I'm putting in those, uh, the blue there, just to add hits of that. There. adorable so what I was saying you could add your name I feel like I needed more glue right here anyways if it, if it needs more we'll make it have more um, if you need more room to write you could always just put a piece of basic white on the back and then you know you have room for your message there otherwise isn't that adorable I like it fun hey so the hardest part really is just getting that die in place after you've glued glued those two strips on the front getting that die in place in between the cards running it through the stem cut emboss machine and then basically it's pretty simple from there but what a neat card right wow love it so there you go <laughs> there's a fun fold I've never tried before um, turned out all right I think and uh, it wasn't that that difficult I found another amazing fun fold this morning and so I'm excited to I'm gonna hopefully do that on Monday show you that one uh, it looks really fun so um, be on the lookout for another fun fold if you're looking for some exciting little <laughs> changes to your cards all right, so if you love this stamp set, I know everybody has dog people in their lives, if they're not a dog person themselves. So, you know, even for kids, for adults, these cute little, you know, like a little birthday card like that. How adorable is that, right? So you need this stamp set in your life. <laughs> Must. Um, those stitch nest and label dies, I've used them many, many times over the past while and they're retiring so get that put that on your list as well so if you want to go online shopping since it's Friday it could be payday for you I don't know uh, if it's not it's okay there's credit cards right <laughs> my husband always says well the bank has money so um, that's his answer to any financial problem <laughs> so the bank has money don't worry about it so you can go stamping or shopping online jenhouston.stampnup.net there's the host code, so if you place an order online that's under $200, if you could use that host code, that would help me out, and that will get you a little gift in the mail at, um, towards the end of the month. So, thanks for doing that for me. Um, also, if you haven't done so yet, head on over to YouTube and look for The Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I put all of these live videos over onto my YouTube channel. So if you hit subscribe and hit the little bell, that means that you'll just get a notification when I post a brand new video over there. So um, you won't miss out on any, because I know I've been going on some different weird times lately. Just, you know, have to work with your body, have to work with how things are working. And so I, I feel like I'm <laughs> getting slower and slower, but, um, so if you are notified when I post a video, you don't even have to wait around for me on Facebook. Just say it. <laughs> and I know I gained, I think it was six subscribers this past week. So that's awesome. A few more closer to 1,000, which is my goal. So if you can help me get there, that would be great. So if you love this video, love these ideas, make sure you share them with your friends. Um, 
give little hearts, lots of hearts to things that you loved. And I will be posting all the measurements and whatnot on my blog later on today. Uh, so you can replicate this and know exactly how to do it. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend wherever you are. Thanks for being my sunshine today. It's kind of uh, cloudy here. So you guys are all uh, bright lights in my day. I'm going to go back and read all your wonderful comments. So have a great weekend and I hope to see you on Monday. Bye everyone.